Hello, so for this video, I want to show a really cool tool that I found online and just how to use it. And it's pretty useful, uh, especially whenever you find these types of graphs, uh, maybe in a journal article or online, and you want to be able to extract the information from these points. Uh, before, I would actually go and read each point. So, like for example, here, this is a scatter plot of ice cream uh, sales versus um, temperature. And so you can see here, like whenever it's 12 degrees Celsius. We have about 200 and so I would go through actually and read each one of these points and you know for a chart like this is not so bad but whenever you start getting to big charts maybe a chart like this uh, you start having you know a lot of work uh, it's a little too much work and so I just wanted to quickly show how you can extract that with this awesome tool that I found online called we plot digitizer so I'm gonna go ahead and save this image onto my uh, desktop and let me just go ahead and save this and now that I have it saved on my desktop, I'm going to go to, uh, to the We Plot Digitizer tool. And I'm going to put the URL into, um, into the, the description of this uh, video. But you can see here it's https uh, colon slash slash apps dot automeris dot io a-u-t-o-m-e-r-i-s dot io uh, slash wpd for the Web Plot Digitizer. And so this is the... This is the uh, tool itself, and it's a pretty, uh, a pretty cool uh, tool. So I'm going to go ahead here and load um, an image. I'm going to choose the image that I just downloaded on the uh, desktop. And so here is the image from the desktop here. And, um, and I'm going to say that this is a 2D um, XY plot. And so I'm going to go ahead and uh, align the axis. And so what's cool about this is what you first do is that you go and align these axes, uh, the x-axis and y-axis on the point one, two, and three, four, and it's going to scale it. Once it's scaled, um, you'll be able to add the points in and uh, make a data set from it. So I'm going to proceed. And so um, the first thing I want to do is I want to click on points that I know where they are. And so here, for example, this 12 and uh, 24, why not? And then I'm going to do the same thing with the y-axis at 100 and at 600 and then I'll go ahead here and say um, complete and it's going to ask me what were those values and so here uh, for the x-axis I have 12 and uh, 24 and then here for the y-axis I have 100 and uh, 600 uh, when I get OK on these two um, now this is scaled and so I can start actually choosing points and so I'm going to click here and then it becomes as easy as just selecting the points themselves. Um, this little zoom here up in the corner is pretty useful because you can use it to really center the, the circle very well. Um, and so use the first, use the main screen for looking at, you know, trying to get it, but then use the zoom circle to get it really as close to the middle as possible. And so as you do this, um, whenever you finish it, you'll be able to take every single one of these points into uh, Excel. And so I'm going to go through here, almost done, and got that uh, last one. And so now that I have all of them in there, um, I can uh, choose here, uh, View Data. And now I have a nice uh, CSV, comma separated value file that I have um, the values from uh, the X and uh, Y axis from the ice cream cells and uh, temperature. So I have a couple options here. I could copy to clipboard. So that's one option. Um, or I can download a CSV file. Um, I'm going to go ahead and copy to clipboard and I'm going to show you how to bring this into Excel. And so after I copy it to clipboard, uh, go ahead and uh, launch up Excel. Uh, just let me get Excel running here. And so uh, here's my um, Excel. I'm just going to make a blank uh, workbook. And so once you have a blank uh, workbook open, the uh, files that you had copied, uh, I mean the, the, the points that you've copied in text, you want to go ahead and paste them into Excel. And so here you have this all pasted out into Excel. And we remember that this uh, first one was... Uh, temperature and then the second one was um, cells so I can go ahead and add those into 
Um, and you can see here temperature comma cells and everything else is the value comma value uh, comma you know temp value comma cell value. Select those uh, select those uh, values in column A. Go to data um, and use text to column. This will allow you to use that comma to create a separation, and then you get the two finished values there. And so now you have both values, and so you can actually go in and start making your own charts, of course. Uh, that's one thing that's kind of cool about this. Um, other things is that you can augment the data, change it, and so forth. And so if you wanted to do something like uh, change the temperature into uh, Fahrenheit, um, we can use um, a formula uh, to do that. So, uh, for example, uh, we can know that the way to convert to Fahrenheit is to multiply out uh, Celsius value by uh, 1.8 and then adding to it 32 uh, degrees. Uh, whenever I do that, I get my Fahrenheit value. And so I can use that to actually convert that. And then now I can make my XY plot off of off of Fahrenheit. And so um, because you got the actual values themselves for using the uh, we plot digitizing tool, that's where you can go to Excel and use the data the way that you would use any data itself. And so I really found this is a very useful tool and I hope that you could possibly find it useful and use it as well.